Hey folks, welcome back to the next Let's Play. We are to Jello Alert Level 0 and a Tally Alert Level 0, except Tally's on my lap. So, so it's difficult to move around, but that's fine too. So our next mission, we're not going back to the ship yet. We want to finish up what's here that we can get to. Let's go to Ellie's Low Crusade. Fortunately, everybody lives within a few hundred meters. Is it me, or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. Uh, yes, that would be the that would be the case. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Oh my God, Ellie, just love your parents and get it over with. She's gonna kill them or something. You know it. I know it. We all know this is how this works. I'm not stealing anything. It's her home. Marilyn, is that you? Mars. We certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for welcoming us into your home. I don't know what to say. She's usually not like this. Come on, you're supposed to help me make an impression. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Um, indeed. We've saved towns, restored property across Halcyon. Are you trying to make me look bad? Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Don't treat her like that. She's come a long way to see you. I mean, we had other business in Byzantium, so it's not like we went out of our way. But you can't just kick us out. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Perception, hold up. These floors aren't just nice. They're top quality marble. She's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand. We hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. Oh my god, I know exactly what they're doing. They're gonna, they did a life insurance on her. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do these people are about to apologize for something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? But I'm sure you're much happier now knowing Ellie's alive and well, right? Of course. And we shall always harbor that joyful secret deep within our hearts. And you'll report it to the insurance company, right? It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Let's go, Ellie. We have better things to do than hang around these two. Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. I am so sorry, Ellie. That does kind of suck, even though I don't really like you. Let's talk outside. Oh, hon. You know what? I'm taking everything. We're going to go back here. We're going to take your expensive hooch. Think you're doing I'm gonna intimidate him intimidate 40 whatever I want oh, could you please leave quietly now oh no I should shoot you in the face but I won't I really should shoot you up in the face hey Ellie let's talk outside okay okay we're going outside fine fine the bijou review can we talk of course we can, hon. Can you believe those two? 
We'd hardly been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. They shouldn't have gotten you. They shouldn't have gotten so upset. How do you think that would go? You're making quite a scene. Can we just... No, we'll do one. I wanted them to get upset. I just thought it would play out differently. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid Aetherwave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open-mouthed. Come on, Ellie, we don't have to do what time to... And then what? I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either, the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or, oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? You're so childish. How about, it's payback time and I'm collecting with interest. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. Now, getting back to my story. Father would throw his hands up, because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. Hey, chin up, you're better than this. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know, and I've got a reputation to maintain. Work with, work through it on your own time. I just want to know that what you're doing next. Trust me, this was the best. I'm sorry, it's a rough situation. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder moon base. Or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. I think here there's a lesson here, Ellie. Uh-oh, it looks like we're in for a big talk. Learn something from this. Up to you to determine what it is. Everyone's only out for themselves. You've seen that now. You've got to surround yourself with people who really look out for you. Unless you mean the kind who look out for you to blink so they could swipe your bits. The galaxy's not exactly crawling with those. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? Keep talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. So how do we do this? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Um, I need to ask you a few things. Something on your mind? Uh, let's go. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go do this. All right, honey. Let's go get you set up. You sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling, being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. All right, we're going to find a bank. Executive office, Wentworth. Oh, my God. Whiny, I thought maybe there's a job there, but no. No job. Just annoyance. Right, up and down. Here we go. That is not not open. Okay, so let's go around. Wait a minute, how do let's look at the map because I don't know where the hell they are. So we need to go right here, the low crusade. Okay. It's like right there. So it's same level as us. Let's go through those doors, I guess. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Soul letter in this mailbox is addressed to Greater House and Insurance Group Satellite Apps in Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. 
I guess we are. So we don't have to worry about her mission for while we're here. But I do need to pick up space outfits, so that works. So we're going to Halcyon for her, or for um, Fallbrook. The Tremere's last experiment. Ooh, we should do this. Oh my god, Tally is just loving me so much right now, because it's almost morning time. She's got hopefulness on her face. Hopefulness for breakfast. Oh my god. It's so adorable. I wish I had a picture to show you folks. Okay. We obviously need to get up and over there. Is Matthew still drinking? Idiot. We don't care who's drinking. We nice just thing care about, about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when... Everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. All right, let's go kill Eva Chartrand. I am sure there is something. Oh, here we go. Terminal. There we go. Logs. I'm not really going to read up everything, though. Another relocation, the first, ooh, wait, first extraterrestrial, since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our spirit on the worlds we touch. Colonials worked them for a time, but our oldest trick didn't work in Halcyon, did it? Now we're the ones who must bow to the force greater than ourselves. We're the ones who must adapt. Update, wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll balance it out with vodka. I recommend vodka. Unseal entrance. So the sealed door we can get into then. Wait, more stuff? Yeah, give me your ammo. Give me everything, folks. Everything. And I'll take the wine too. Oh yeah, baby, here we go. No elevating music, that makes me sad. Huh. Wow, look at the size of this basement. If someone back home wanted to make a secret lab, they'd have to put it in a closet. Oh, Han. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Um. Your alien mind tricks won't fool me. Lily Haig sent me to kill you. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. Lily runs Sublight Salvage on Groundbreaker. Good boss, bit of a live wire. That's a gentle womanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with aliens. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. You've been to Cascadia and Station 1084. I know of all your dirty little secrets. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Uh, Sublight took over the lab. Your human aquariums are probably at just office decor. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. At least they were... What were they trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What crisis? What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. This is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Adaptation didn't save your research team. Not for lack of trying. 
I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. You run through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I have already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt? One of the two Earth Directorate assault cruisers, assigned to patrol the Halcyon system. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Lily sent me here after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover-up instead. I'd prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Um, the board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon? Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. That's a hell of a story. Lilia Higgins still wants me to kill you. No, that's enough. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. You know Phineas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. Ooh. What do you think, Ellie? Let's ask her first. I try not to, least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. Oh, we're gonna go to war with Lilia. You know Phineas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? And if you're trusted from lens a hacker species? What kind of scientist would I be if I held to a promise like that? I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Right. Um, what if I gave you 3,952 reasons? That'll do, sucker. Now move along. The dog has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. Oh yeah, I'm in trouble now. That's how that works. All right. Get out of here, go back up top, and then we'll probably call this in just a moment here. Let's get out of the house, onto the streets. All right, folks, we're going to wrap this up here. I will see folks next time, and until then, take care.